Um, okay, so our next question is, how do you adjust to a new culture and being away from your family? Um, I feel like for this one, it depends, obviously, on, like, where you're going, because I would say a lot of, like, the European countries that you can study abroad to, like, the culture isn't too drastically different from ours. Um, some of the things that you might come across is, like, language, um, differences in language, or um, just, like, the vernacular that people use on the day-to-day -day that you might have to learn, but um, I would just say in preparation, just looking up a lot of the do's and don'ts um, of the area that you're going to, um, so that'll be huge, especially if you're going to a place that's like a lot different than ours. I would say like maybe if you're coming from the U.S. and going to I don't know what cultures would you say are like a lot different because you guys studied abroad in Europe, so they're all they're, like they're so all different. Yeah, yeah, they are. There's okay. just like yeah. so many differences. Right. Right. Even yeah. London, yeah. which everyone yeah. is the same. I feel like how you said European is very similar to how mm -hmm. we act, is especially like manner wise. Yeah. Um, but if you go like Japan, yeah, and, and like certain things like with the, the, the way you hold your chops, yeah, there, right. So, like you want to know yes. those things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to definitely, like, I agree, like, the Jews and Jones, because you yeah. want to fit in with the culture, you want to, like, you want to adjust to the culture, you don't want their culture adjusting to you, like, yeah. you're going to have to change some things a little bit. Or, like, like embrace can. it. Yeah. yeah. And also not be disrespectful, like, that's exactly. a huge thing, I feel like, just understanding, like, gestures, words, yeah. like, facial expressions, all of that, that could come across as, like, disrespectful yeah. or rude, like, you don't want to be making any enemies when you're yeah. out abroad, so, um, yeah. That's Once like again, that. don't be that American. Yeah. <laughs> One of the uh. biggest adjustments in London is that um, cars have the right of way. Yep. Oh, really? And so, coming from oh, Boston, yeah. I'm right. a bit of a jaywalker. Yeah. Um, People jaywalk there all the time, though, They definitely London. do, though. Yeah. But, but they I'm do at their like, own risk. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely are very more, okay, you're going to, like, you're coming, but you'll slow down for mm. me. In London, they actually told me of a story where an old man was trying to cross the street, and a car was coming, and, didn't, like, didn't see him in time. Like, he wasn't aiming to hit him, but hit sure. him, and the car sued the old man, and... He had to wow. pay, but he was the one that got injured. Like it's yeah. just, it's crazy, but you just gotta be respectful of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> know that. Just know, it, yeah. yeah, definitely. Do, <laughs> yeah. You're gonna want to know that. Do yeah. do some research beforehand too, um, just so that you're not being super offensive. Uh, mm -hmm. There were some instances in Ireland where there are just some like, I can't even get into it, uh, where I was just like shaking my head. So there's whole bunch of political stuff involved but oh. and like there was like stuff that like kids had learned about in class and they completely ignored it and they're like it's fine I'm an American they just don't care and I'm like they do though like you're yeah. being super insulting to them and we went through so many like we had to before we even went to Ireland we had to go to this like pre-leaving thing uh, and they like explained like cultural norms mm -hmm. uh, like they explained the pub culture and they were like pub culture is very important you go there and you don't get drunk you you if you're gonna drink you yeah. have like a beer or two uh, you it's also completely acceptable for you to just drink soda or just drink juice the, or just drink water the whole night like it's it's about meeting up the other friends and they were like you have to be involved in this but don't mess it up yeah yeah I do think, like, embracing the culture is, like, super important for adjusting, but also just for, like, your experience mm -hmm. in general, because what's the point of going and studying abroad or traveling to a new place if you're just going to stay with your same habits and, yeah. you know, do the same thing that you do here? It's, you know, going to be a lot more fun, and I think it'll help you get, like, the most out of the experience if, when you go, you're, like, trying your best yeah. to, like incorporate you know their culture and their different things yeah and join things like meetup meetup.com is really great for interacting with locals in a safe environment mm -hmm. going back to our safety thing mm -hmm. uh and that way you can you can ask them about their culture and be like so how can i really interact with spanish culture uh, i don't think i've done enough of it uh and looking up certain regulations and things like i was in italy and this kid was so annoyed because the museums weren't open on Monday. And I said, well, the museums are open on Sunday for the tourists, so Italians don't work on Monday. He's like, but I'm here all the time. And I was like, cool. Okay. <laughs> the Italians don't work on Mondays because they're not supposed to work on Sundays because they're extremely Catholic, yeah. and they do. Yeah. So maybe be like, like learn th little things like that. Be considerate. Um, 
Yeah, yeah be considerate yeah. and learn th- ways to save money. So in Italy, if you sit down at a restaurant, you're automatically getting an upcharge. Whereas if you like stand mm-hmm. at a bar, um, you it costs less. So like, I went with my roommate and I was like, I really want an espresso. And she's like, oh, we'll go sit down at the cafe. I'm like, nope, that's a 12 euro cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. I just want a quick shot of espresso. Yeah. We're going to go stand at the espresso bar. Um, so learning awesome. little things like that. Yeah. One of the first things they told us when we went to London is that you don't tip when you go oh, out yeah. to a restaurant. Yes. Um, my parents came to visit me and my dad is a generous tipper mm-hmm. and this was a bit of a huge adjustment for yeah. him. In uh, some places they find it, tips. um, <laughs> they find it insulting, right. yeah, especially yeah. in like fancy, like in France being, um, a waiter is like a profession. Yeah. Um, so they find it insulting when you tip sometimes. So yeah. don't do that. <laughs> Those are good things to do. Yeah. And they went through a lot of like some of the cultural norms, at least for like the area we were staying in during our first day at the orientation. Mm-hmm. Um, and we, they even had like one of the police officers come into our orientation and say some of the things that are illegal mm-hmm. for us to do. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's good too, though. Good too. Yeah. <laughs> like you can't have pepper spray. <laughs> Uh, a lot of kids brought pepper spray because yep. they were like, I'm traveling, I want something right. to protect myself. Yeah. And he's like, I'm going to give you this time to throw that away before you get in trouble. Yeah. So he, they were very nice, yeah. but they did like give you a heads up about those kind of things. Yeah, I feel like, as Karen was saying, like meet up and locals, trying to find people that are local, it's kind of redundant, but uh, going out to places that are off local. the... Yeah. Local. <laughs> uh, going out to whatever they do for fun yep. versus there, there's a list of things you're like I need to see this this and this yep. I really want to do it's very touristy yeah yep. uh, but get off the beaten path and really jump head yeah. first and embrace yeah. the culture that you're in so that you have experiences to talk to that are not the same as other people Everyone that yes. have been there because everybody goes to the restaurant oh I went to the Eiffel Tower yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Right. what else did you do yeah um, so yeah it's a uh, I, I would say just try to find people and go and do things that uh they do for fun. Yeah, that's awesome. I think another part of adjusting is, you know, you're missing your family a lot. And I got all, the, like, the apps so I could um, FaceTime my family, mm-hmm. call them, mm-hmm. talk to them. Um, but I didn't do it too often. Like, I didn't talk to them every day. I probably, like, called them once a week. Um, and we have been FaceTime for, like, just a half an hour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was, like, a, like they would show me my dog. It was, yeah. like, a oh, great yeah. experience. But I, <laughs> like, I think calling your house too many times would make you more upset and, like, yeah. missing home more. Yeah, I think it's just yeah. college in general. Like, yeah. Yeah. you're a freshman, don't. I think going back to like what you guys said, like junior year, you're already away from home for those two years. You're kind of already used to being away from home. So studying abroad, I feel like you're kind of used to it. I honestly feel like whenever I travel, I talk to my family more than when I was like at school and stuff like that because I had more things to talk about and more things to tell them and update them as opposed to when I'm at school. They're like, oh, how was class? Okay, yeah, it's it's the same. So yeah, you might find that like you talk to your family more and, and that's great, but like I don't feel like you need to, you know, don't feel like you have to talk to them every single second of every day yeah. um, either because you want to enjoy yourself and yeah I don't know about that oh, I'm getting annoyed when I called her at college she's like what do you want are you coming <laughs> home I'm like no <laughs> <laughs> she's just really saying that yeah. to you <laughs>